it's obvious from from everyone that I've ever talked to that that knew Mary Lou Williams that she was a a very opinionated and sure focused kind of person and her work certainly reflects that. She was a pioneer, she changed music, her arrangements as well as her playing, she informed that transition to bebop. And I mean, even the fact that she, uh, she seeked out Cecil Taylor to do that duo concert that they did is another testament to the fact that she was always interested in moving the music forward. And, you know, she was a major participant all the way through the time that she was with us. I think that it's fantastic that we have that image of her on film. And I just hope that I, I did my best, you know, to, I mean, to give it, to give that image justice. Certainly, there's some huge shoes to, to try to step into. And for that reason, I, I wanted to do a literal transcription of one of her arrangements. So it was clear as to what, how advanced she was in the 1930s. You know, that's, that's an, an arrangement that she actually, that I transcribed of hers. Yeah, that was the, that was Lullaby the one, of the Leaves. The when you think about the fact that it was 1930s when that was composed, when that was arranged, and the kinds of harmonic movement and the kind of the independent polyphony, the stuff that was going on. related voices moving. All of that was very, very advanced for that time. A great quote from her, she said that, that she was playing bebop and Charlie Parker was still in short pants. <laughs> so true. that's really, I mean, that, that pretty much describes who she was, you know. She knew who she was. I have <clears throat> had a teacher named John Malachi. They played in Billy Eckstein band. He said, um, Thelonious Monk would say, come on, Mel, go up to Mary Lou, you know. And he used to say how bad he would feel because they knocked on the door after hours, you know, after the set was over. Because she had a nice piano and she was always welcoming and everybody was always up there playing. He said that, that they would go up there and our Tatum would be up there and everybody, you know, it was a place of, uh, of communion for the musicians. And, and she always looked out for the guys in, in a very maternal kind of way as well because they looked up to her, you know. Sort of thing. I'm very appreciative of Hal, I have to say, who's um, coordinating everything and the fact that he's, he understands for me that the importance of this image and and the, maybe the fact that that hasn't been in, in a feature film before that I know of, perhaps it has, but through, through the jazz films that I know. and. Uh, He's been, you know, uh, let's say very nurturing in terms of making that image. I Hopefully, I don't know what's going to happen, but, you know, just giving me the opportunity to um, to make sure she's projected as a leader in this context of the way that well, she was. And um, Robert Altman certainly ha has afforded this opportunity for this to happen. And you can tell, you know, I've never worked with him before. I'm a big fan of his films anyway. So it was exciting to have the opportunity to do this. But his process, from what I can see from the short amount of time that I've been here, is very much an improviser's process, like music. For instance, he gave me a line at the last moment to say to Bean that was going to help to facilitate the, the movement of that um, particular scene but also just giving the musicians complete kind of personal license to um, have the weight fall on our shoulders in terms of how the music is projected. Yeah. You know, I think that that's been great for me, you know, because uh, I'm the one that's responsible 
we had a chance to look at some of the, the footage and I mean, it's beautiful looking. They're they're the best at what they do. Yeah. You know, you really get the sense that he kind of lets people do their thing. They each take it, take yeah. their work very personal from the people that have done the costumes. I mean, all the details of the costumes to the the makeup to the the hair so to the, the sound, box, box. every the art the art setup, yeah. all of it. You know, and, and then again to have a chance to be on something with Harry Belafonte, who's a, a big <laughs> hero of, of my my family and uh, ours. And he's a great man, a great leader, you know, and a great actor.